So to us, Belgrade is like a watered down New York. And that's probably why I feel like I'm kind of home in a sense. It's so diverse and it's not just the people, it's the food. first place we had to visit was Bad Sushi. Since we have this burning desire to go to Japan one day, this is definitely the first stop for us. Somebody's just struggling. Whatever it is, I destroyed it. But it is delicious. Oh man, it got some spice. I get so excited every time that we come to Bad Sushi. It's one of my favorite places. And one of the reasons is not only the sushi and the Japanese food, but they have a Spanish beer, San Miguel. And I know this beer is very popular in the Philippines. They have their own production there. So it's very famous in the Philippines, but it is originally from Spain, from 1890. Really old beer. So that makes me happy. They have warm sake, which is like super traditional, but not in every Japanese restaurant that we have visited they have. So I love that. They also have video games. They have a little video game thing back here. Do you see that? This is so awesome. I'm about to go play right now. I don't know if I can say this in camera. I just scream out loud in the middle of the restaurant. I want chicken jerk. <laughs> But what I meant was jerky chicken, which is a traditional dish from Jamaica. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> no, what is it? <laughs> what is it? What's the name? No, chicken jerk. <laughs> jerky chicken. Jerk chicken. English is horrible. <laughs> We really wanted to show you this Jamaican spot. To find a Caribbean place here in Belgrade, right? Like, I know there is a big population of Cubans, but Jamaican is like the only one. So I really wanted to go, but oh well. I really just wanted some jerk chicken and they had beef patties. But the problem was they said they opened up at two on Google. We got there, he said it didn't open to 2.30, but it really looked like three. So I'm too impatient. But instead, going somewhere else now. So we have come to eat Mexican food at a place called Nachos. And this place is a little bit more fancy. We'd rather go to more like relaxed places. But this is the other way to show the diversity here in Belgrade. Not only in the people and the type of food, but also the level of restaurants that you can find here. Uh, if you go to the waterfront of Belgrade though, that place is super luxurious. I don't know if we will ever go to that area to show you, but just know that it exists. Oh, you're gonna record my more messy, huh? <laughs> I can be the only animal in the videos. <laughs> I love this place so far. At first, I thought the prices were kind of ridiculous, like a little high. I told you I'm cheap, but the size of these tacos, this place is definitely worth it. These tacos are huge. And I got the tacos nachos. It is delicious. It was a pain having to walk all the way over here to come to this spot. But I can tell you that Belgrade is an extremely walkable city. Like I enjoy walking around it. It seems like there's a story around every corner. It's like. It's like one of those perfect cities to, to like film a documentary or a trailer to one. It was at this moment everything took a turn for the worse. Despite all the equipment I brought along, I found myself in a dire predicament. Time was slipping away, the summer season was drawing to a close, and I was left without music for my project. Then a brilliant idea came to me, and that's when it hit me. Use Epidemic Sound. Their vast music and sound effect library, paired with user-friendly tools that simply require a drag and drop, offers a seamless experience, helping you find the right track for your video. Saving you time, and we will save you money with a free 30-day trial. Click the link in the description below and save your summer, unlike me. This is so exciting. We have been missing Turkish food and Turkey for so long. And we finally found this uh, restaurant, Kultura. Check the chocolate. And so I was dying to try Ichli Kofta because it's one of my favorite, if not my favorite food from Turkey, but they don't have, unfortunately. Now the very next, very best next thing, okay, I'm saying it backwards, is Merji McChorba, so the lentil soup. I just squeeze a whole lemon. 
And I have higher standards, so I hope it's good. Oh my God. I wanna go back. <laughs> I can taste lemon if you put it in this already. It's a lot of lemon, baby. <laughs> oh, but this is good. It is hot. Choksi Jack. Oh my God, I miss Peter so much. We love, I can't bite it right now, it's too hot. <laughs> but we love New York pizza. <laughs> and it's been a little bit hard to find a really good pizza, but when we were living in Turkey, Pide made it for us. Like it was the perfect fix. And since we've been in Serbia, and I know there's plenty of places to eat pizza, but we haven't gotten accustomed to the ketchup on top and everything. So we've been dreaming with having Pide again. Okay, I think I can bite it now. Hmm. This is not a sexy shot. <laughs> So the truth is, I'm really happy that we found this Turkish spot because I've been dying for some Turkish food. We did pass by another one, but the problem again is that it's very bougie. It doesn't, it does not do it for me. This spot here is nice, it's quaint, it's so relaxing, and this is what I like. This is what it's all about for me. This is you can try my stuff. You got your own thing, I got mine. What happened what to the love to, to your wife? Huh? What yes, right. <laughs> <laughs> After a wonderful Turkish meal, finding that place is just like, mm, gonna be going back there a lot more. What better way to finish it all off with some Italian gelatos? And this is nice. And this name of the place is Sapor. Sapore. 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 Mm. Oh yeah, this is raspberry. This raspberry is good. I was looking for strawberry. They didn't have strawberry. Obviously, I need something close to pink, but that might come up wrong. It doesn't it? <laughs> come up so wrong. But yes, best way to close it out. And this is the thing that I love about Belgrade is the fact that the diversity here, it's something that I love because no matter where you're from, you can possibly find something that can make you feel like you're back at home and I think that's what makes it amazing so New York is still here in the heart but Belgrade is definitely earning a spot right here mm. oh yeah enjoy <laughs>